You know, I had a traumatic brain injury two years ago, two and a half years ago, and had a lot of residual problems. And the one thing that I could always say is MAT is the only thing that helped me. When my symptoms would be bad, my head would be off, emotional instability, everything I'd get treated and everything would change. I mean, that symptoms would go away. Well, I started working, I was referred to Kyle and Mike Shanahan through a group that they work with with the 49ers that uh, do brain training and, and the 49ers have brought them in-house. I've been doing a lot of work with that group and we've been able to show that there's a 100% correlation between the status of the neuromuscular system and brainwave activity. And when I would say that I'd get treated by MAT and my symptoms would go away, we've been able to measure it at the brain level. And we've been able to show that improving neuromuscular function definitively changes brain at, brainwave activity. And basically the group I'm working with, they're like, Greg, you're making changes in an hour that we don't see in six months of neurofeedback. And so it's changing things at the brain level and we're working with this brain group and we're looking at tying together with them to start showing how how muscle function changes brain activity. We're going to tie in with, with the relationship with them. We're looking at doing research to help support. It's the first time over the years when I've dealt with people with, I mean, with digestive issues and uh, autoimmune disorders and uh, I mean, any type of inflammatory based issues and you start seeing side effects that were positive that had nothing to do with muscle function. A kid with Asperger's hypotonia, I mean, came back and normalized this whole function, concentration, mental focus, and by treating muscles. And why did these things happen? Now we're actually showing why it happens, because it shows up at the brain level. And so the, it basically is the first documented um, validation of what MAT is actually doing. And so we're working with this group, we're looking in the big picture to do some research with this group, which will further validate the value of MAT and the role of the muscle system and how significant it is not only in just in reducing pain and improving function, but improved by improving brain function, they basically show that you can normalize brain wave activity, you can get people off of antidepressants, you can, I mean, with ADHD, post-traumatic stress, all of these mental-based disorder, if you can normalize brain activity, they know that they can actually improve symptoms related to all those diseases and MAT is actually changing brain activity. And so this could be uh, bigger than anything that we ever thought of dealing with improving range of motion leading to muscle testing. Range of motion leads to muscle testing, leads to improved muscle function, leads to improved brain function. I mean, in the big picture, we can start showing that we're, I mean, we will be everywhere in every city, in every state, in every country.